Hi my friends, Angel Anderson here and today I have another question. They're coming in. Thank you for sending the questions. Please keep doing it because if I can, I will answer them and I will help you out as much as possible. The question it comes from, let's see, house toys. What are the camera settings you're using to film a video? Well, my friend, uh, he's talking about ISO, aperture and shutter speed. Well, my friend, when I use this camera, which is my Nikon D5300, when I use this camera, I do my best to keep the ISO. I learned, well, this is a tip that I learned in the YouTube space when I, uh, last time I took a workshop over there, that I try to keep your ISO at 800 or below, no more than 800. If you have to go higher to increase the, the light of your video, then um, do your best to adjust the light, the external lights that you're using, uh, or, you know, use daylight. So I do my best to keep at 800. I do my, in the setup that I have currently in the house, in my office, is about 500 ISO. I gotta turn it on just to double check, but it's about 500 right now. Yes, 500. Then uh, aperture is, this lens is 3.5. Um, the uh, the f-stop is 3.5, that's the lowest it goes. The, uh, the shutter speed, if I'm shooting in 24 frames per second, then I'd keep it at 50. If I'm shooting at 30, I'm keeping it at 60. Now, it, it, it matters if you, if I go to 60 because I'm shooting at 30, uh, 30, 30 frames per second, then I know that it's less light or uh, darker the image. So I got to increase the ISO. With the 24, it's lighter uh, the, or the image is brighter. So I got I to gotta adjust. What I also do is let this, the the lens in manual and before I start shooting I focus depending on the lens I focus on uh, digital so I put the camera on the tripod and I use the the plus sign to increase the digital sign in the screen because I can see me I can see myself in the screen and I point the the camera to my eye and I adjust the manual focus until I see the glossy eye so it's not blurry and then I zoom out and now I do have the what is called the perfect focus. I learned all that also in a YouTube space uh, in a workshop. So if you have the chance to participate in a one of the YouTube space workshop, please do so. They are amazing. This is the camera that I love, D5300. It, the same principles go goes for a Canon. Just zoom in with a digital. Uh, get the look at your eyes. You can until you see your glossiness and. 24 frames per second, what I like is uh, give me this cinematic look, this uh, shadow is on the borders without having to do post-production settings. And I can go in a lower ISO, which means the image is going to be crisp. Like the, mic the Rode Video Micro, because it, it, I don't have to deal with battery, it's an amazing microphone to, uh, to use. And the reason I go with this Tamron 1024, 10 millimeter type 224 is because it's wide enough that when I shoot with the camera, it's pretty much about yay close. And you can see everything. You can see everything. Right now I'm using the, to record this video, the Sony RX100 Mark IV. And yes, the settings are in automatic. I gotta play more with the camera. I haven't messed with too much, too much with the manual modes, but that's pretty much it. Manual settings. I do my best not to go above ISO 800 again. Uh, aperture, this one goes, uh, uh, the f-top only goes to 3.5. I do have a prime lens that goes uh, all the way to 1.8, but this one is the one I'm using right now. Hope this helps. And if you have any more questions, please leave me a comment below in this video. Reach me via Twitter, Angel F. Anderson, via Facebook, via my website, angelanderson.com. And again, my friends, Thank you for asking your question. Keep asking your question. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.